Suffolk's mayor talked about the progress of the city and its future, including an update on what's going on with Waterside. The State of the City Address drew more than 1,000 business, civic, and political leaders. Ten of your sides, Ava Hurdle joins us now live with more on what has and will be happening in Norfolk. Ava? Nicole, Norfolk had an incredible year, the mayor said. He pointed to population growth. He also talked about new train service and residential projects, plus more. More than a thousand people turned out at the Waterside Marriott to hear what Mayor Paul Frame had to say, but first, an introduction of a famous pet. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles the Monarch, the real publicity hound. That segued into kudos for sports teams at area colleges, and then the mayor moved on to more serious issues like crime, which dropped more than 26 percent since 2002. The crime reduction is real in the city of Norfolk. Property crime, violent crime has been down for like almost 10 years in a row, so we think we're making some progress. Progress, too, for breathing new life into Waterside. Cordes will invest $28 million in transforming the facility into Waterside Live a venue featuring restaurants, a market area, and performance space. Waterside Live is set to open next year. The city plans to purchase the fire-damaged Traveler's Inn in Ocean View for $800,000 to expand the public beach. But the mayor says improvements are needed in school test scores, and there's more. We need a better transportation system. We need another crossing of the harbor. We need to worry about flooding, you know, and, you know, sea level rise. And so there are a number of really big ticket items as well as improving our own infrastructure. He wrapped up his speech with this. The state of this old seaport city is sound. And that the city has come through rough times in good shape. And the mayor also points out the city continues to enjoy an excellent bond rating. Live tonight across the river from Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.